Good morning, Steve Fried in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's the day after the USDA report. Overnight, bean prices are a little bit lower, corn and wheat prices are a little bit higher. I think the, in general the market is trying to just evaluate the USDA numbers and see where do we go from here. In talking to a lot of analysts and traders, they think that the soybean numbers could uh, push bean prices higher after the harvest. The USDA did admit that they're using an average pod weight on this report, and some people think that the actual pod weight will be smaller because of this year's drought. In the corn, market's going to be watching pretty closely to see uh, if more funds liquidate their long positions. Some people thought that yesterday's trade action had a lot to do with people that were long corn short beans exiting those positions. Uh, some people think that those uh, funds will continue to exit corn positions into the harvest. USDA did admit that a more optimistic farmer survey offset a lower ear count and that's why the corn yield did not change much uh, on yesterday's report. Outside markets might have a lot of influence on commodities. First of all, we'll be watching uh, the U.S. Fed meetings and see if they come up with a stimulus package. Secondly, we'll be watching the Middle East tension and see if that has any impact on crude oil prices and commodity prices uh, in general. Uh, export sales a little bit disappointing in wheat and corn and a good number in, in the bean market. So I guess what we're looking for is uh, overall long term, a little bit higher bean prices and we'll see what corn and wheat wants to do. Uh, one New York bank estimated uh, highs in the market around $9 corn, $9.80 wheat and $20 beans. So we'll see if that happens too. Again, these are my thoughts and not those of ADMIS or ADM and have a safe and profitable trading day.